in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed God is all powerful. My bank account hear this. God is all powerful. The 10 years of no job hear this. God is all powerful. Ah, the sentiments roaming around my office and the rumors that I've been hearing that I will be downsized. God is all powerful. Are we together? Dear pastor, I know that since after COVID, it looks like ministry has been shaken and has been epileptic, but God is all powerful. You need to preach to yourself. You need to be a prophet of your destiny to go back home, stand before the mirror. Even if it's the mirror of your bathroom, just close it there, be alone and preach to yourself and say, Satan, every lie you have spoken to my ears on account of the things that have happened. The Bible says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It says, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds is that in your Bible casting down every imagination and every high thing that exalts itself above the knowledge of Christ he says bring in every thought regardless what it is to the obedience of Christ bring in every thought the thought of death what's this pain around my leg and the devil says cancer like father like son uh -uh. that is the time to say well i sympathize with those who may have gone before me but in the name of jesus i declare that i will rewrite my own reality i will rewrite my own possibility hallelujah oh it's like that for everyone who comes from your village my bible says we have been called out of every tribe every tongue and every nation in the name of jesus christ Nathaniel looks and hears about Jesus and says can anything good come out of Nazareth Jesus was not sad at him because he was right based on his perspective you know what happened to Nazarenes they had a track record that they did not have longevity of impact an example of such a Nazarene was Samson the guy came up showed up and Delilah brought him down so when they heard that there was another superstar Nazarene Nathaniel said don't waste your energy he will not last they have a track record that they lack longevity of impact hmm. could it be that someone has concluded the last person who rose from this family you all saw him he flew around the world and died as if and that lie bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ bringing every thought to the obedience of Christ Bring in every thought. It's your responsibility. Bring in every thought. Because I serve the mighty God who is all powerful. So this is my first message to you tonight. God is all powerful. If this is all you have and you walk out of this beautiful church knowing that God is all powerful, you will bully every darkness out of your life. Knowing that God is all powerful all powerful and by the way let God be true and every man that includes every situation a liar are we together number two God desires you may write God desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the lives of his people this is the second point I want you to know tonight that it is not enough to know that God is all-powerful but that the second point is he desires God desires for his power 
and his glory to be revealed in the lives of his people that means just acknowledging that he's all powerful does not do much he's not glorified just by acknowledging he's all powerful that he wants that there be a spectacular display of that power of that glory in the midst of his people god desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the lives of his people i believe this with all my heart psalms 107 verse 21 psalms 107 please verse 21 here's what the bible says can we read together it's projected ready one to read all that men would praise the lord uh-huh for his goodness and for his wonderful works to who not his wonderful works that resides within the heavens and the throne room his wonderful works that has been made manifest to the children of men that every time his power is revealed in the world of men it will cause praise to arise from the earth even to the heavens oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works his wonderful healing his wonderful restoration his wonderful manifestations of open doors favor and everything that god is able to do zephaniah chapter 3 and 17 zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 17 god desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in your home revealed in your business revealed in the life of your children revealed in your career whatever endeavor it says the lord thy god in the midst of thee the Lord thy God who has come to be made manifest in the midst of thee. The Bible says he is mighty. Then it says he will save and he will rejoice over thee with joy. And he will rest in his love and he will joy over thee with singing. The Lord in the midst of thee is mighty. Please you believe it that God desires you are not the only one who desires to see the power of God God himself desires to see his power he says oh Lord my God is that was the lamentation the cry of the psalmist the desire of the psalmist really he says early will I seek you my soul longs for you is that in your Bible it says in a dry and a weary land where there is no water it says to see your power and your glory revealed in my life as I have seen in the sanctuary so God desires that his wonder working power be revealed in the midst of his people and in the name of Jesus Christ I'm speaking over someone here that there are things you would not need to tell people again the results that will happen as a result of the manifestation of God's power will do the speaking from today in the name of Jesus The Bible says when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion is it in your Bible it says we were like them that dream and our mouths were filled with laughter then it says they said among the hidden the Lord had done great things for them it says the Lord had done great things for us whereof we are glad then it says with that same mighty power turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev or the streams of the south turn again our captivity turn again our captivity turn again our captivity that shame and that reproach by the privilege of God's grace and on account of the call upon my life and what I do I have watched the power of God from nation to nation city to city family to family and you would think that after many years of watching this I should get used to it I tell you for every manifestation of God's power I stand in awe myself as though I had never seen him move this is God for you there is no getting exhausted with the manifestation of his power the variety of the move of God you will never get bored watching the mighty God in action mm -mm. Mm -mm. from the woman trusting God for a child who may have been mocked and then out of nowhere triplets just show up and you don't know if to call them children or miracles you believe that 
how about a family that at the start of the year is hoping to complete their rent but at the end of that year own an estate not a house how do you explain that i'm not talking of people cutting corners and fraud i'm talking of men lifted by god with the dignity of kingdom integrity if you do not believe god can go that far satan will cheat you there is an advantage we have in this kingdom we have secured by his love and jealousy the backing of the creator of the ends of the earth if he created the heavens and the earth what can he not create you know what it means to create to make manifest using invisible raw materials he desires for his power to be revealed in my life he desires that your life becomes a living epistle the apostle says that means that when men look at you here's how the bible puts it i am i am a strong advocate of results john 15 and verse 8 it says herein is my father glorified do you believe that when ye bear much fruit it says so shall you be my disciples in other words your result gives credence to my mentorship they show that i taught you they show that you have learned the ways of god it's like a coach who would have invested in training an athlete or a football team or you know some kind of um whatever it is the joy of that coach is to watch his team you know manifest flawlessly and effortlessly and you see the smile of confidence as they keep adding goal after goal and it gets bad when it's now 5-0 for instance in the case of football he feels sorry for the other team for daring his team and did you know that after that it increases their value and their perception is that true yes so god is glorified when the saints excel and that is the reason why it is within his power and it gives him joy to coordinate all of the heavenly resources that need to be put together to see that his people excel and to see his power revealed in their lives here's how the bible puts it second corinthians 9 and verse 8 very interesting scripture it says and god is able to make all grace abound towards you the bible says so that ye always having all sufficiency in all things may abound to every good work may abound to every good work hallelujah john 15 and verse 16 i'd like us to please read it together and to read it with conviction where we have when we have it on the screen john 15 16 he says are you ready want to read please ye have not chosen me he says but i have chosen you uh-huh and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain and on account of this whatsoever ye shall ask the father in my name he may give it you he desires that you produce fruit he desires that you produce fruit jesus mentoring the disciples in what we call the beatitudes matthew 5 beginning from verse 13 he says you are the salt of the earth but that if the salt the salt has lost its saltiness he says wherewith shall it be made salty again it is of no good but to be thrown down and to be trodden under foot of men and then he says you are the light of the world he likens you to a city that is set on a hill the bible says which cannot be hidden neither do men light a lamp and put it under a bushel is that true but that they put it on a lampstand or a candlestick and it will give light to all that are in the room verse 16 now says let your light so shine the word let means permit allow do not stop it let your light your result the outworking of the power of God through your life let it so shine before men he wants them to see it and he says that they may glorify your father which is in heaven God desires to be glorified and the only way that God is glorified is when the saints are glorified John 17 and verse 1 the Bible says Jesus lifted up his eyes to the heavens and here's what he said father the hour is come he said glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee glorify thy son glorify your businessman glorify this mother glorify this exceptional woman glorify her that she may bring glory to you in the name of Jesus Christ every life here that has been mad and laced with shame 
and reproach that your life has become a discussion that can occupy people for hours talking about what is not happening i stand by the god of heaven foundations of sapphire in the name of jesus the mighty god i declare that that shame and reproach will roll like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ listen whilst you are seated please in the name of jesus christ i want you to believe and to be ready to shake everything that is not of christ anything you tolerate is authorized to remain in your life but the day you get angry there is holy anger you can get dissatisfied and say this ends now even though it is 25 years old it ends now this mockery ends now this reproach ends now ends now the bible talks about a man called naaman that this man was a valiant man he was a captain of the syrian army and the bible attests to the fact that he was a valiant man in war he says but he was leprous that issue of leprosy would not go one time he received an advice from a slave girl that they brought who advised him and said oh that you would meet a prophet i know that this prophet is able to touch you and he went wrote a letter to the king and to cut the long story short elisha gives him an instruction and he goes to wash in jordan and after seven times the bible says his skin became like that of a little girl did you know that naaman would have died without receiving his healing and he would have said it is the will of god i can tell you there are many things that are not the will of god but satan's authorization is because you are not yet angry enough hmm. you are not yet angry enough god desires that his power be revealed in my life god desires that his power be revealed even among the foundations of sapphire that by next year if christ tarries and they come you you will wonder who would testify and who will not because it will be an abundance of the manifestation of the hand of god increases on all sides passion for god like never before people who escape terminal diseases like smoke before the wind hallelujah so number one god is almighty almighty all powerful number two he desires his power to be revealed in your life hallelujah number three this is the apex of our discussion tonight and please may i request that you write and then pay attention god's wonder working power i wrote here is made manifest when we call upon him god's wonder working power i'm glad this is a prayer conference that as wonderful as god is god's wonder working power is made manifest when we call upon him God's wonder working power is not made manifest when we need it. It is made manifest when we call upon him. Now, this is as simple as this point is. It is why many believers may remain disappointed in spite of every truth that we have learned. You see, one thing with the truth is the Bible says, and you shall know the truth and if it is truth you have found there must be the corresponding liberty that means whatever you find that claims to be the truth and cannot administer liberty is not the truth hallelujah let me repeat it again for emphasis god's wonder working power is made manifest when we call on him watch this jesus is passing jericho and theologically speaking that would be the last time jesus is patching jericho and then a man who was born blind is that in your bible that man sat there and jesus was passing as if he did not see him and the man began to shout thou son of david have mercy on me and the people there said keep quiet don't distract jesus 
there are serious things for him to do he says i i use my will to make my matter serious the bible says he shouted the more thou son of david have mercy on me and when that happened jesus hushed and said what should i do for you Can, that would look like sarcasm i mean what would a blind man want it would be a costly assumption to assume that a blind man would want his eyes open because in acts chapter 3 the crippled man at gate beautiful did not want healing he wanted money is that true yes the bible says he sat there begging for arms an ugly situation sitting at a beautiful gate and he was asking for arms and then peter looked at him and said no you need more than arms he said silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you he says in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk the man was disappointed read your bible he, he sat down there he didn't stand up it was peter who reached his hand and lifted him and the bible says the man leaping stood hallelujah are we together this is a very very powerful point because there are many believers who do not know that the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him so there are a lot of complaints and lamentations and assumptions god is it that you are watching me like this you are not going to do anything this is how you watch me i assure you while i sympathize with that lamentation by the integrity of scripture nothing will happen or another consolation we have in our world one day go better oh no the assignment of time is not to change things the assignment of time is to reveal it takes decisions decisions that are intrinsically made or outsourced you have to be able to stamp your feet and say this is the moment hallelujah like someone who has come tonight you can say this is the moment that demonic sickness must leave my body being fine today and down next week i reject it and by the way may i respectfully advise never receive old age as a license for sickness never receive old age as a license for bodily degeneration it is not in the bible hallelujah whilst it is true that based on our natural law as we age of course you may not have the strength and the vitality of a baby but it is important to know that you can enjoy the requisite level of vitality required to serve the purposes of god until your time is over never receive that if you have received this as an orientation now i respect doctors i respect medical people thank god for your contribution but i'm talking to you based on the integrity of scripture here's what the bible says that they that be planted in the house of the lord shall flourish in the courts of our god are we bible students it says in old age they shall be fat and flourishing there are many trees there are many trees on earth that are older than humans and those trees don't plan to go anywhere you see them flourish and refuse to die hallelujah aware that they might be drought they still refuse to die they made sure that their roots went down down enough and here's what the bible says he shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water you know what that means you don't have to wait for seasons again a tree that is not planted by water will have to wait for rainy season but a tree that is planted by the streams of water it is only its fruits that it brings in season not its survival hallelujah the wonder walking power of god is made manifest when we call upon him let's look at a few scriptures jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3 hallelujah jeremiah 33 and verse 3 call unto me the mighty one is saying and i will answer thee and i will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not call unto me he says and i will answer you that means when there is no call there will not be any response call and i will respond 
call and i will respond call concerning the health situation i will respond call concerning the job situation i will respond psalms 145 and verse 18 psalms 145 and verse 18 i love the bible the lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him did you see the word all there he is nigh not to men of god that call upon him he is nigh not to preachers not to apostles not to prophets he is nigh unto all all them that call upon him all them that call upon him and he says to all that call upon him in truth that means there are people who call upon him but don't mean it they are just saying it so that it will look like they are not idol worshippers but they don't intend to see him manifest jesus where are you jesus come and he says no you are playing games you are not serious it is clear from your hearts that you have other alternatives but there are people who call upon him in truth have mercy upon me thou son of david i have no other god some may trust in horses and chariots i do not even have that luxury there is no horse and there's no chariot anywhere if you do not help me say unto thee O god do i lift up my soul it says oh my god let me not be ashamed is that in your bible it says let not my enemies triumph over me there is a way you can call upon him in truth call upon him in truth lord i have done my best to teach my child the way of the lord but now that he's become a teenager in an attempt to help him to receive superior education he's delving into a practice that is antichrist i have done my best as a faithful parent but i know i am limited this is your child i call upon you arise oh great one and help this child to not become a casualty let this child not become a reason for people to think serving god uh, does not pay and god will one day your child will be roaming around anywhere in the world and mama's prayer has ascended to the throne and the mighty god will arrest him a small program will be happening somewhere and he will just feel like strolling in usually that's how it is and while he stands there the rest becomes history and he calls you one morning and says mommy and you say my son where are you now he says you can't believe it you just guess where i am he said don't tell me you are with the police <laughs> And he says, not anymore. Saul has become Paul. Yeah. Not anymore. And the child will start asking you, did you read your Bible today, mommy? And you say, I was busy. And say, mommy, you are backsliding already. I need to be the new preacher supervising your consistency. You believe that, shout amen. amen. Even if not for yourself, shout for somebody. Amen. hallelujah the manifest power of God only happens at the instance of our prayer Paul was teaching about salvation in Romans chapter 10 and when he got to verse 13 Romans 10 13 he says whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whosoever that blessing and that privilege is for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whilst you are listening I want you to prepare your heart because tonight we are going to do some prayers there are some we are going to call upon the name of the Lord over certain issues the Bible says ye have not because ye ask not the everlasting father is ever willing to give ever willing to give but it is to them that ask matthew 7 7 he says ask and you shall receive he said seek and you shall find then he says knock and it shall be open unto you verse 8 says for everyone i like scripture for everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and the bible says to him that knocketh it shall be open how it will be open leave that to god it says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with child nor the way of the wind that is how you do not know the works of the works of god how god would do it leave that to his intelligence he can use anybody including pharaoh to bless you Are we together 
most times when we say God is going to bless people as we say amen our eye already goes to someone and we tie somebody in our mind that is almost witchcraft and in while we are saying amen you mean amen through that person and you will never let God rest Lord this man is rich what is it about one million and God says no leave that to my intelligence I want to take praise out of this so he can use somebody who vowed that under his watch he will not rise like Abimelech and he gets up and says I had a dream in the night what is this about you that has even made God to come and threaten me take gold take silver you can go this God bar you believe what I'm saying sometimes when we hear these things in church we just think it's a nice message prepared by a preacher to excite people believe me with all humility i'm not one of those people i don't teach what i don't believe you can taste and see that the lord is good you can taste and see i join you tonight in your anger over that situation because it must leave you once and for all in the name of jesus christ it must leave you once and for all There are families that have a signboard written on them, Ikabod. People say, once upon a time, we looked up to these people. Once upon a time. No, that statement of once upon a time, we cancel it here. Please shout a loud amen. Because the Bible says, the path of the just. Are you a believer? The path of the just is as a shining light. It says it shines brighter and brighter. That means I should never have a worse yesterday. No. A better, a better yesterday I meant to say. Never. It should never be. And anything that is making your yesterday better than today. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. This is a strange occurrence of darkness that happens in Africa. You see vibrant people who serve God and after 10, 20 years, one day you will see them somewhere and you are almost running away. Good afternoon, daddy. And you are tempted to say, what happened? You lived in Europe for 10 years. You lived in America for 15 years. Two of your children were professors. What is this? Last we knew, your life was an example that inspired us. And there are wicked spirits that pick people from the throne and take them back to the village in the grave. And you see them, they will tell you, they will show you photos snapping with presidents with their wives and children in the name of Jesus I'm saying it again God sent me here tonight anything programming failure in your future I stand by the God of heaven who helps men I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus please sit down our world is full of people who were great inspirations yesterday and today there is absolutely nothing no. I believe in seasons but I also believe that a man can be relevant for as long as you are in the epicenter of God's program listen there are things you need to start giving yourself a new orientation about do not believe them no no it says as your days are so shall your strength be 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 apostle you know after covid <laughs> i don't want to tell you what happened to my business but from covid till now we've been going down i sympathize with you i agree with you but do you not know written in your scripture that the axe head can float and return back again is it not in your bible please help me let's become believers tonight except we are just saying okay god well we, we hope we trust you <clears throat> there is a condition upon which an axe head can float back again that is the assignment of the prophetic the prophet said by this time tomorrow that shame and that reproach would have left you he was not just speaking to an individual he was speaking over the entire samaria hallelujah 
and we live in a world today where people can be so bold to say a lot of things someone looks at you and beats his chest and say over my dead body and tell him it's a risk reverse that statement you have taken a risk that you cannot afford to pay for over your dead body He suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm the anointed is not just a man of God the anointed is everyone who is grafted into Christ by his spirit because you have an anointing within you is that not what the Bible says yes listen these are the systems that make us to walk in victory so when the bible says now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph is at the instance of this revelation you see that everything i tell you i show you a scripture that backs it there are many christians who have superstitious faith that means faith that is not founded on the word faith that is founded on empty confidence god forbid i won't die based on what and we have all kinds of cultural things my blood is white is not black you know all those kinds of none of those things has power in the realm of the spirit it is only the word of god to believe that there is something unique about your blood that witches and witches will leave you in peace it's a joke even to jesus they came satan cometh to me what immunes you builds a garrison around you is the word of god are we together now what is the basis of your longevity if I ask you? I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Number one. Number two, I said before you life and death. I said before you blessing and cursing. He said choose life. You choose life by verbalizing it and by walking in keeping with the principles that are pro-life. Number three, honor your father and your mother in the Lord. Is that in your Bible? That your days may be long and that it shall be well with you. You don't want to live long when it's not well with you. Imagine a 90 year old man who started suffering from 12. That is a long time of suffering. The longest we've seen in the Bible is 38 years. It shouldn't exceed more than that. And after 38 years, Jesus came and said, no, stand up, walk, go. And that was it. Every long standing issue here that looks like it will be, the year keeps coming and going, and that issue does not change. In the name of Jesus Christ, long standing issues must answer to the name of Jesus. 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 Please sit down. The amen you are shouting and the prophetic words you are receiving are not empty. If God opens your, your eyes in the spirit, it will be as though you are holding a basket. And every of these things, there are investments you are making there. I want you to believe that. Don't just think you are saying amen and then at the end of it, you will believe that all you are taking back home is the Bible you brought. No no you are taking a lot more that you did not come with and the situations and circumstances around your life will attest to the fact that you are no longer alone listen he said destroy it not for there is a blessing upon it are we together i want us to pray so let me give us one more scripture If it is true that God's wonder working power, by the way, let me, I just feel in my spirit to do a recap of everything I've said. So please do listen in case you're just connecting. Number one, we started by saying that God, three important points that built our discussion tonight, we're discussing on the wonder working God. That number one, it's a fact and it's something you must believe that all power belongs to God. That means God is the all powerful God. He's called El Shaddai, the multi-breasted one. El Shaddai. 
number two that god desires as powerful as he is he desires for his power and his glory to be revealed in the midst of his people this should give you confidence because you see sometimes when we approach god we approach him as if there's a laxity on his part to reach you and it's by your prayer and your cry when you know that i am more than willing to bless you it gives you the confidence to approach me am i right on that that was the information the prodigal son knew about his father he knew that his father will be ever willing to receive him back and it gave him the energy to come to himself he said i will arise and i will go to my father i know my father will not reject me so you are not the only one who wants to see the power of god manifest in your life god himself is glorified when his power is revealed in your life amen and then number three which is where the instruction for tonight comes from that god's wonder working power is made manifest when we call upon him when we call upon him not when we want him to be there not when we assume he is there when we call upon him and there are two biblical ways to call upon the lord never forget this there are two biblical ways to call upon the lord number one heartfelt prayer number two perfected praise heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer heart heartfelt prayer heartfelt prayer ye have not because ye ask not he says ask and you shall receive that your joy might be full let me show you something mark chapter 11 please give us verse 24 mark 11 24 that there are two dimensions to calling upon god calling upon his mighty power and his outstretched arm therefore i say unto you is that in your bible what things soever ye desire please help me when ye pray believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them once you have not prayed and you just believe arbitrarily god loves me too much to leave me suffering like this you are right but that is not the modus operandi of the kingdom i hope you realize that god himself submits to his word the bible says he has exalted his word even above his name his reputation so there are no sentiments in dealing with god even jesus himself when he brought himself low and became the son of god he had to call upon god for every time he desired to see his manifest power for instance in john chapter 11 the resurrection of lazarus jesus himself they rolled away the stone and he said my father i thank you because you always hear me he acknowledged the government before him and with that authority that he so vocally expressed i can of my own do nothing by that power he said lazarus come forth and he that was bound came forth and said lose him and let him go are we learning we call upon him in prayer the bible says i will call upon the lord who is worthy of praise then he says so shall i be saved the combination of prayer and praise most believers know prayer but we do not know praise praise has nothing to do with whether you can sing or whether you can dance if you are ashamed do it in your room but by all means prayer and praise are mysterious weapons that seem to attract the might of god my bible says he inhabits the praises of his people are we together what does it mean to praise god to praise God means to acknowledge him as touching his might and his power. Whether it's through a dance, whether it's through singing, the most important component of praise is not your dance. You can be dancing and yet not be praising. That acknowledgement is the praise factor. If in your dance and in your praise, because there are many, let me not even go there. Praise the name of the Lord. Let's just continue where 
let's finish in peace tonight but i can assure you that there are many things that do not carry power because acknowledgement is not in it i can dance for a show and as powerful as that is i am not praising god there your acknowledgement you know what it means to acknowledge to acknowledge means to insist that the person you are acknowledging perceives that you recognize his contribution in your life so what most people call praise beyond the talking drums beyond the instruments beyond the nice melodies praise is from a point of acknowledgement god you did this for me look what my life has become where was i when you took me oh god and that will sponsor your dancing that will sponsor your singing are we together now that will sponsor your rolling on the ground it is not the activity that makes it praise the bible says in proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says trust in the lord with all thy heart are we still here it says and lean not unto your own understanding the next verse says in all your ways acknowledge him you can replace that word with praise him to praise means to acknowledge I don't know if I've done it in this church but say I want to introduce someone here let's say a gentleman here and let's say someone who has achieved so much when you acknowledge people you don't say how are you that's not how to acknowledge usually when you get an intelligent MC who wants to introduce someone they will start something like in 1998 he won a prestigious award of this and that am i right on that they now begin to flaunt his credentials and at the end of it they say ladies and gentlemen we are moving no further until we acknowledge this that is what it means to praise god you cannot praise god without talking about what he has done that you mention the name of your children by name don't say there are too many if there were not too many to be helped by god they shouldn't be too many to be mentioned lord i thank you look what you did in january i didn't even know i would survive it one month ago i was in the hospital i watched people die but look you kept me now you are praising him i'm showing you how to call upon god and he says you did this for me and you are acknowledging me and then when you are not ashamed to do it before men come and see a man who told me everything i have done and they said you are a prostitute you say forget the issue of prostitution come come and the people said this is compelling do you know there are many people's salvation that is tied in your testimony and your praise you need to be able to acknowledge god so loud that someone asks you what is the joy for and then you tell him my testimony is not a manifestation of pride i am just too grateful to be silent too grateful to be silent two of my children graduated with first class my husband just won a contract i just had an encounter with jesus five unbelievers in my family gave their lives to christ how do you keep quiet like that you see the high point in a testimony is what jesus did let me give you a clue if you are summarizing if you don't have time and people are testing don't just tell them summarize no there is a part of the testimony that glorifies god if that part is missing it was just discussion or a flaunting of pride hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us to tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And then if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin.